¿Por qué Daniel Suárez en el consulado? ¿Por qué Nazcar? Couldn't have said it better. Why was Daniel Suarez at the Mexican consulate in Dallas Wednesday? Why was he telling his story in Spanish? And in English? That just gives me a smile in my face every time that that happens. And it happens very often. For Hispanic residents, business leaders, and let's not forget, Texas Motor Speedway speeding to read students across the Dallas Metroplex. The, the number one advice I can give you is to work extremely hard. Because NASCAR. Suarez was in Dallas to prep the fans and the media for April's O'Reilly Auto Parts 500 at TMS, but his story was the story. I was just having a life like 90% of the kids uh, in Mexico. He was different than those other kids growing up in Monterey, Mexico. He was a racer, not that his mother approved. If you tell any family out there that is not involved in racing, hey, your son is going to be racing whatever it is, <laughs> the first person who's going to say no is the mother. She got overruled, and a few years later, Daniel's driving the number 19 Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing. It wasn't all that simple, though. Yeah, I was scared at some point that, uh, that I, wasn't, I wasn't going to be able to make my career just because of language. So he got to work off the track just to live out his dream on it. I tried to spend a lot of time watching movies with subtitles, uh, I started to find out that uh, the cartoons, actually they are made obviously for kids, and they talk a little slow. So I started watching some cartoons as well. The tunes did their part for Daniel. Daniel Suarez. Well, now he's ready to do his to help anyone else trying to live their American dream. I can give them uh, an advice or, or a little bit of my story to, to help them keep going in, in whatever dream they have. And in a car that won at TMS just two years ago, a Suarez win at his home track in Texas. And make no mistake, it is his home track. This is my home racetrack. That would be something to celebrate. His run at win number one continues April 8th at No Limits, Texas in the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500.